Peering into her camera, famed U.S. photographer Joyce Tennyson captures the images of 36 people with inspirational stories. Although they are from different walks of life, they all share one thing in common. They suffer from a disease that for years has been synonymous with life in a wheelchair, multiple sclerosis, or MS. Her photographs are now touring the world in an exhibition called The Image of MS. What's special about these photos is that in them, Miss Tennyson shows that there is no typical image of MS. Her images show that it is possible with MS to live a fulfilling and productive life. These images, these portraits, um, will give people a new look at MS and allow them to relate to people that have MS in, in new ways and to feel less afraid of it. The reason I was so interested in working on this campaign is that it really allowed us to show viewers that one can have a normal life with MS if you have the proper treatment. Multiple sclerosis is a disease that damages nerve cells and nerve fibers in the central nervous system. The central nervous system is comprised of the brain and spinal cord and is responsible for sending signals that control all the functioning in the body. Normally, the body's immune system recognizes and destroys dangerous foreign bodies, such as bacteria or viruses. In patients with MS, immune cells mistakenly identify normal nerve cells and nerve fibers as being dangerous foreign bodies and attack healthy tissues. The damage this causes to nerve cells and fibers can eventually affect people's speech, their vision, the way they walk, and even how they think and process information. In 80% of patients, the disease takes a relapsing, remitting form, meaning that symptoms such as numbness, muscular weakness, and blurred vision occur for a period of time and then improve. The inflammatory episodes in multiple sclerosis primarily damage the sheaths surrounding the nerve cells. That means that the transmission of impulses between the individual nerve cells in the brain is impaired and neurological attacks occur. These disease episodes can occur suddenly and without any warning. In some cases, they are associated with severe symptoms that can persist for days, weeks or even months. I had double vision. I saw everything double and blurry. Two years later, I became paralyzed on one side. I got dizzy and collapsed at work. I was working hard in the garden, and when I was pushing the wheelbarrow, it kept slipping out of my grasp, and my right foot wouldn't do what I wanted it to do. My first symptoms were sensory disruptions. My hands were numb and tingled, as did my lower arms and even my whole body. Because there is no cure for multiple sclerosis, many patients are afraid and confused when they are diagnosed with the disease. Being diagnosed as having MS was a complete nightmare for me. I burst into tears and all I could see in front of me was a wheelchair because I knew nothing about the disease. Today, however, doctors can slow the progression of the disease and reduce the number of attacks a person experiences. Among the most common therapies are interferon beta drugs or disease-modifying therapy. In many cases, these treatments can help to modulate the body's immune system to reduce the number of episodes and minimize the damage to healthy nerve cells. Interferon beta for the treatment of MS was first launched in 1993 in the United States by Berlix, a subsidiary of the former Schering AG in Berlin, which is now part of Bayer Schering Pharma. Its development was made possible by new breakthroughs in biotechnology. Interferons are thought to affect several processes in the immune system and the body simultaneously. First, fewer immune cells that mistake nerve fibers and nerve cells for foreign bodies are activated. In addition, previously activated and misdirected immune or scavenger cells in the brain and spinal cord are deactivated by interferon beta. Next, the integrity of the blood-brain barrier is improved, thus allowing fewer activated immune cells into the central nervous system. The human body can repair some of the damage to the sheath surrounding the nerve fibers, but over time, each additional attack causes damage that the body is no longer able to fully heal. Therefore, the best protection is making sure that the treatment is taken regularly so that it can be effective.
Der Patient muss davon aus. Patients have to presume that what they initially invest will be paid out primarily in the long term through a reduction in the number of attacks and a delay to the disabilities that can be caused by the disease. It is therefore very important to make clear to the patient that only long-term, consistent treatment will lead to therapeutic success. Thanks to modern medical science, the majority of patients with multiple sclerosis can lead a fulfilling and happy life. And that is exactly what Matthias from France and other MS patients featured in the Image of MS photo exhibit want people to understand. I still participate in the same activities I had before the diagnosis. Sports, work, family life. Everything is almost like it was before. The advice I can give people who are diagnosed with MS is to start as soon as possible with the medication. It will improve their quality of life. Andere de kwaliteit van leven zeer zeker zal verhogen en verbeteren. Ik I'm living proof that I really can live my life the way I want to. This is my image of the future. Dat is ook mijn beeld voor de toekomst.